Uh, you're listening to the BBC Non-League Football Show, Dave Anderson, Willie Wordsworth. Ruben Simon, the referee, with us in the studio tonight. Uh, Ruben, I wanted to, to ask you, as I, I do most times you come in, whether yeah. standards have improved this season. Has the respect got through to the level you're at? at no, it's, it's not. It's, it's, um, it's disappointing. I mean, we've had some referee assaults have, have been reported recently. Mm. In fact, the stats show that uh, assaults are up this season. Um, I know of a referee in Middlesex who was assorted recently. Um, um, what level, and this was, what this was in that? a suburban game, so this really? we're talking senior football oh, in a senior game, uh, assorted, and, and it's just unacceptable. And, and what has to happen is, uh, in my view, uh, and, and I would encourage any referee who's assorted to, to, to go down the legal route as well as letting the counties uh, deal yep. with it, because if a man was assorted in the street, Mm. You know, he has to face the consequences, and, and we have to drive this message home that it's just not acceptable, irrespective um, of the opinion of uh, individuals' uh, views of decisions that referees are given. Because oh, uh, yeah. what's not being drummed home, and it's not being drummed home, is that respect starts actually when you don't agree with a decision. That's when it starts, and there's too many um, people I hear say things like, well, referees have got to earn respect, mm-hmm. and I say no. Um, respect is a prerequisite and if I meet you in the street and it's the first time I meet you I respect you automatically mm-hmm. so I think the, the, the minute a referee um, enters a football ground or any individual they should get respect immediately now you can lose respect by the way you conduct yourself but you shouldn't have to earn respect and and I keep hearing this phrase referees have to earn respect and, and that's why we're going wrong in, in, in my view Go on, Dave. Yeah, no. I, I, listen, the first thing is that you know anybody who who puts a hand on a referee mm. should be hammered from every angle, legal from the FA. You know, I, I've been critical of referees and will be again, but but as far as putting a finger on them, that's just that's that's the first thing. That's absolutely not acceptable. The the respect thing, you know, all I would say, yeah, go and earn respect. Fine. Let's put it this way: all I ever say to referees is, you know, if you want treated with respect. Treat me with respect. But, that's my point. But, know, that, that's, but, but that's fair, and, 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 that, and that's the point I'm saying. Yeah. Everyone should be treated with respect. Now, yes. sometimes you'll get some managers uh, who, who will say to you, well, you, well, you're not treating me with respect, because some managers you don't actually want to talk to. There are some players as a referee you don't wish to communicate with. Mm. And what they is that before to, a game? No, no, this is, this, this is during, dr- the during the course during- of the game. And, and those players and, and those managers, the, the thing that fascinates me about human nature and psychology is they don't seem to work out that you're communicating and smiling with some players and there's other players you're not smiling and communicating. Or one manager you'll speak to and another you won't. And what they never do is they never look within and think, well, hold on a sec, he, every person who speaks to him politely, he speaks back to them politely. Every person who's rude or, or shows no respect. A lot of referees, and I'm, I'm one of them, if you don't show respect or you don't want to speak to me properly, we just won't have a conversation. And what the players don't realise is often it's in their interest that we don't have a conversation because if we do have a conversation, they may not finish the 90 minutes. So they don't even realise you're even trying to help them. Mm. Does, yeah. does that make sense? It does, but you know, the, the one thing that, that to come back and be the devil's advocate is that is that one week I'll come up against a referee who will want to talk to me and discuss situations and treat me you know, with respect and vice versa. And another week I'll go and ask another referee exactly the same question, mm. exactly the same way, and he'll totally blank me. So, so I think that when you talk about respect, you know, taking away, can't touch them and, and, you know, we know it's a hard job. But I think that they've also got to help themselves as well, well in, in a common denominator, in being... The, you know the same across the board where either tell us by law we can't speak to them till half an hour after the game which I always thought might be a good idea so can't approach them at half time can't approach them coming off the pitch but but they must see us half an hour after the final whistle if we've got a question Th- then then I think that's maybe that's way but if if you're going to go one week and speak to, to a referee and get an answer and, 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 and be treated with respect and, and vice versa, fine. And then you go and ask the same sort of question in the same sort of way the next week and get totally blanked. Well, I've got to tell you, and it needs saying because it's, it's not said enough, and in my view, the FA should come out and say this. Mm. Um, I don't know a single referee who will not answer a question. So, for example, Dave, if you said, um, you know, what was that? 
penalty for in the, the 54th minute. I don't know, a single referee who wouldn't give you a clear answer. I saw a pull of the shirt, it's a penalty. The problem starts is when you give the information to the manager, some managers, and you might be different, Dave, some managers don't actually really want the answer to the question. They now want to get into a debate. Well, well I didn't think it was a penalty or it was soft or, or whatever they want to go into. And those are the people that referees don't want to waste time speaking to. And that's, let's tell it how it is. And, of course, from the manager's point of view, it's in their interest as well that the referee doesn't get into a conversation. Because otherwise, what will happen is sometimes it can blow but you up. But haven't, you, haven't, you haven't addressed my question. Well, the question's very clear. <coughs> I, I think I've addressed it. I think... What, what uh, no, I don't think you have, because what, what I'm saying is that if I ask a referee, two referees, two weeks running, the same sort of question, in the same sort of way, and one answers me and, and discusses it with me, another one either says, don't want to talk to you, or or in the past doesn't even acknowledge them with, yeah. within, within distance, like five feet from them. I would love... I would love to have been there on every single occasion that you asked that question because, uh, of course, we're talking about human beings as well. And <laughs> you'll speak to some uh, managers who feel, from their viewpoint, of course, because it's all opinions, that they're asking the question in a polite manner. <laughs> but from the referee's viewpoint, they're uh, being aggressive. Um, some managers will then use, I mean, this is one of the key words we hear all the time as referees it's passion. From the referee's viewpoint, they're being rude. Uh, and I'm not saying you are, Dave, of course. No, I know when I've been rude. I know, know when I've been rude and I know I know when I've been I've been yeah. in the order, absolutely. I've ripped into referees. <laughs> but I'm talking about I've I've tried hard this year to, to, to not do that and to go and discuss situations. And all I'm saying is that, you know, respect, yes, let's have respect, but let's have an equal playing field so that we know if we go and speak to a referee in a particular way that, that is polite and, and it is polite, that we either get told don't speak to them, don't speak to any of them, don't go near any of them, or if you do speak to them, they will return uh, your question with an answer. I'll step in and add respect to this conversation. <laughs> Ruben, you can answer this and then we'll move on. Go yeah. on. I, what I think needs to happen now, because we're talking about people's opinions, I think the FA, what the FA have to do is they have to put out a system now where we say to managers, we will answer your questions. Some referees, of course, are more articulate than others. You've got the, the whole... Thing to look at. So I think managers at the end of each game should be able to ask three questions in writing, in writing, and then they get an answer back in writing because it'll be very interesting to see if the manager really wants the answer to the question he's asked. It will tell a story, in my view. You're listening to the BBC non-league football show. We'll let these two have this debate in the car on the way home, no doubt as well. Now-